Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It's Tuesday. It's Whiskey Day. I'm glad you're here. Hopefully, you're enjoying this November week. It is Election Day, so whether you are um, partial to a particular party or not, it's important to get out there to vote. Vote your conscience. Vote for um, who you think will do the right job. I personally don't think you should ever vote against somebody um, by voting for somebody. Does that make sense? Never vote for somebody just because you don't like the other guy. There are so many people out there that you could vote for um, that aren't in those two parties. So check all of them out and um, hopefully we can move this country in the right direction because right now, not to be political, but it's higgly piggly. I might actually remove any option for comments on this episode because I don't want this to become political. I just want you guys to go out there and vote. Um, and I know that some of you don't vote um, and that's a statement that you're making. As long as that is why you're not voting, perfectly fine. Those that don't vote because they just forget or whatever, um, that's not the right thing you should do. All right, off my soapbox, let me get down. No, I'm just joking. Um, so we're going to be doing a very um, nice whiskey that most people haven't had an opportunity to try because it's very limited in availability and also quite expensive. And unfortunately, all I have is a little tiny um, 50 mil, little tiny thing. So this is the Whistle Pig Old World uh, Rye. So if you're excited as I am about this and to try it out, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot. And the more you subscribe, the more you like, the more, um, I don't know, legitimacy it is to go buy more alcohol. We already have close to a thousand bottles, but there's a point where you have to say, is this really worth it? Is it really worth it? Um, so as long as the channel's growing, which it is, it's growing great. Um, but we'd like to keep it growing, so hit that like and subscribe so we can keep bringing this stuff to you. All right, so we have done um, a whistle pig tin, a whistle pig farm stock, a whistle pig um, piggyback, and I think we did a whistle pig tin, but we've never done any of the bourbons, so we're gonna have to get the bourbons. Um, we, we've done two different versions of tins, I believe. Um, we'll have to see. Look in the um, video playlist below. Or, yeah, somewhere. It's YouTube. It's changing all the time. I don't know where it is anymore. So this is the Whistlepick Old World uh, Rye. It is a 12-year um, rye whiskey from Whistlepig um, Distillery, which is mm, has always been. It's Vermont or Connecticut um, area. Um, a, the rye is usually a sourced from a Canadian whiskey. Um, I know their bourbon is um, not, but I don't know if they've changed that on the rye. So this is 43% or 86 proof, and the cost for a 750, not this little tiny 50 mil or 75 mil, it's a little bit more than 50, but a cost of a 750 is $114.93. People like their whistle pig. Um, Boss Hog can get up to two or three hundred or more, and then they keep going up from there. So the best way to enjoy um, Whistle Pig, if you ask me, and don't want to shell out a ton of money, is to go to a bar that has it, and if they have more than one, do a flight. Just the good thing to do. And I'm glad that I am by myself because I don't want to share this. All right, let's go ahead and look at the review. At $114, it, it will be a one barrel on cost. Smells like a rye. You're getting that rye, that uh, rye grain, that pepper. It's got a little heaviness, like a wheat, grass, or hay. A little bit of hint of vanilla. And there is some, some fruit, light fruit, like a, like a pear. So before I forget, let's write this stuff down because I always forget. And then I have to rewatch my video three or four times while I'm editing to get this. So we have some pear, we have some rye, we have um, some pepper. 
And I do get some hints of uh, wheat or grass. Now there's something else underlining in there. It's given a bit of sweetness. And at first I was thinking vanilla, but I'm starting to think it's about um, a little more earthy sweetness. So I'm thinking honey. Yeah, some, some honey in there. I think this is a spectacular uh, aroma on the rye. Uh, yeah, I, I would say this is one of the better arrives that I've smelled. And the reason I say that is because it's got all of these notes, but it's not assaulting the the nose as a lot of rice do with that, that peppery, spicy, or alcohol type of thing. So you pull down um, any other rye like a Sazerac or... Um, you know, uh, good God, I used to have a whole bunch of rice. Uh, some Buffalo Trace type rice, Azarac rice, um, Balconis rice, obviously, um, Templeton, uh, any of that stuff. Um, it's a little bit more salting on the nose. So I will be giving this a four on aroma. Let's try the flavor. Okay, so. I had to get my little water. It's a, there's a little gnat here. It's a little spicy. Um, midway through the upfront. So it's not fully upfront spiciness. Um, it's towards the, the last end of your upfront, but it lingers all the way back. Like I still have it. So I'm going to say it's a little spicy uh, lingering. And so when we talk about bite, that's how I, I view bite, is that assault on your tongue, um, that alcohol uh, assault, the burn, and that lingering um, effect. And so for me, this is not bad, but it is only 86. It's not a bad lingering, but it's there. So I'm going to say it's a 3.5 on bite. Um, it could, if Andy was here, he'd probably say, no, it's a five or a four or five, but um, it's, it's there. Let's get back to flavor. It has that rye essence. Not any pepper, a little bit of that pear, and almost um, a, a, not a green apple, but more of a red apple, like a red delicious, uh, but not the sweetness of a red delicious. A uh, little bit of earthiness, um, almost nutty. And of course that wheat that uh, heavy wheat or grass. But over, overwhelmingly, it's got that uh, rye and probably that red delicious uh, apple uh, and some of that pear. It's definitely got that pear on the back end where you can just feel it um, and kind of an aftertaste. I have a dog down here I'm babysitting because um, my dog passed away um, last month. So I'm babysitting a couple chihuahuas. Uh, and one of them is a little bit noisy. Add some water. I don't like water on the aroma. It's bringing out some of that alcohol, that almost a vera thing. So I would not add water to it. Not much with the flavor, maybe even out a little bit of that bite. So now we get down to the important question that we um, had always talked about in the first few years of this and kind of straight away with it, but that's um, how do you drink this? Uh, I normally drink all my whiskey straight. Um, I don't add water much. It depends on what that whiskey is. 
I'll add a little bit of water, just a hint to some of the um, more potent Islas. I love Islas, um, which is a scotch. Um, I will add water to a couple of the budget whiskeys that um, maybe Ancient Age or uh, Very Old Barton, which we just did not too long ago, um, just to help even that tone out. And I will add water or ice to some very heavily flavored uh, whiskeys like Balcona stuff, um, Texas stuff. Um, Texas has got some very rich flavor that you just need to even out a bit. But this, I, I would have to drink it straight. At $114, I would be very hesitant um, to use this in any type of, um, you know, rye old fashioned or Sazerac or something, just because uh, I don't want to dilute that flavor. This is a really good flavor. Um, but if you had the money and 114 bucks for Whistle Pig was nothing for you, which is a lot of whiskey drinkers because this is an expensive hobby, then by all means make some cocktails out of it. I prefer to just drink it straight. Um, this not one that I would sit all night smelling because the smell is just not um, keeping up to where it should be. Um, it's a good aroma, but as it sits, it fades away. And of course, the water I put in there is making it fade. Uh, so this is something I'd probably drink in a relatively quick time. Not shooting it, but, you know, you know, 20, 30 minutes. Where most of my bourbons, and especially my scotch, um, it could be a 30, 40 minute um, dram. Mm. I don't know. Tell me what you think about Whistle Pig Old World Rye, the 12 year. We have one more Whistle Pig coming up um, that we have in house. I plan to get some more, um, but we have that 15 year um, doozy. That's really expensive um, that we still need to do. But of course, this is all up to you. Let me know what you think. I'm going to go ahead and give the flavor a 3.5. This is going to be a 12, which is a solid three. However, the cost is a huge handicap. So we're going to give it a one point because of that handicap. So this is a four overall. Um, yeah, I, it's a four. It's not a five. I, there's a lot of whistle pig people out there that's like, oh, whistle pig's got to be a five. Kind of like all oh, buffalo trace got to be a five. No, uh, this is a four. Uh, but you can always argue with me down below. Make sure you leave that comment. Remember to check out all of our other videos Monday through Friday. Tomorrow we have some coffee uh, coming up and then another whiskey on Thursday and then of course cocktails on Friday and I've been promising to do a Saturday episode so possibly Saturday we might have something. I have another studio um, that I'm working on. It's my office but it's designed for more leisure type of stuff. And I like to do a Saturday, um, kind of that distillery spotlight, but maybe a bottle spotlight um, and discussion. Maybe take something from the news that's whiskey related or alcohol related and talk about it. But I'm probably not gonna get it done before this week. We'll see, maybe possibly. It's almost done, but yeah. So check out everything else. Make sure you check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and merchandise. Remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is a really, really, really good whiskey. It's great whiskey, just not great, great. It's great whiskey. All right. Cheers.